Alrighty, now we're back. We're gonna um, we're about ready to start the disassembly of the carb. Um, I just want to uh, review that this is a 1968 uh, six horsepower carburetor. Okay, uh, I'm going to use this as an example because the 1964 18 horsepower carburetor was already clean. It was already serviced. It was good. Uh, I just took it off to make uh, to show a different viewpoint of different motors and accessing the carbs and also to help a member out with just the visualization of how to remove that carburetor. But uh, this carburetor has a fixed, uh, fixed, uh, uh, fixed speed uh, uh, orifice plug in it and so it serves the same purpose. So I have my, uh, <clears throat> my medium tip and my small tip flat tip screwdriver. I have a, uh, a float from a different carburetor but this, is, uh, this uh, float can be found in a lot of uh, older motors and the cork and all that's still good and a lot of them are buoyant uh, but a lot of times the alcohol will uh, will damage the shellac that's already on this uh, old float and will uh, actually um, uh, cause it to break up and uh, later on the float won't become any uh, won't be good anymore so if you get some uh, a burate uh, airplane model um, airplane uh, dope uh, or glue uh, from a hobby shop, you can put a, a two light coats on it, very very light coats. It'll uh, um, it'll protect it and prevent the alcohol from uh, damaging the schlack and the uh, the cork float later on, and 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 still perfectly good to use. I just wanted to point that out. Uh, I have my little ratchet. I have a little uh, uh, hex shank here. I'm going to talk about in just a second. And I have my needle nose pliers, and then <clears throat> I have. Um, this is a uh, orifice service uh, service tool, and this is um, this is by Johnson Everdrude OMC. Um, this is meant to remove. This is a tool specifically meant to remove the high speed orifice plug, and from the three horsepower all the way to uh, you know the um, <coughs> uh, the, the uh, higher motors like uh, the, you know the. Uh, uh, 30, 35 horsepower uh, from the range that I'm looking at uh, using and uh, from the 1950s, 60s and early 70s. Um, it cost about 30 bucks uh, and that's not including shipping if you have a, a, a local shop nearby then, uh, then about 30 bucks. I wasn't really pleased with it because the first time I used it, it broke. So I don't know what the alloy that's used uh, you know, to, to make it, uh, but it seems pretty cheap to me. Um, I could never get in touch with the owner, emails or anything, so I'm stuck with a, uh, a broken uh, uh, orifice servicing tool. But luckily, uh, a very uh, uh, nice member of the AMCI, which I am a member of, um, uh, recommended uh, this little uh, hex shank. And uh, the name of it is an extra clearance slotted insert bit. Uh, these are the dimensions, so uh, <clears throat> so closely, uh, closely um, um, listen, it's a one fourth inch hex shank, three sixteenths tip width, one one half inch length. Okay, and uh, that you can certainly get uh, that at a hardware store or um, you know uh, an automotive store. Maybe they'd have to special order it. Or even uh, an online store like McMaster's or Granger's, uh, and um, probably for under six bucks, including shipping and all that, you could probably get that little thing, and you can probably get a couple in case you lose it. But it's well worth uh, buying, and um, the strength of it is really, really good. And I've used it several times, and it's excellent. So anyway, um, and we also have our carb kits here. Okay, so we're going to start taking apart this carb right now. We're going to start looking at things. I hope everybody can see everything. So anyway, uh, I've removed a uh, low speed needle, okay? I've inspected the tip. The tip looks good, nice and straight. No deep grooves in or anything like that. Looks good. And uh, I also removed the packing nut. The packing nut goes on first and then the needle's inserted. The purpose of the packing nut is to actually, there's packing inside here, which I'm gonna have to remove. And <clears throat> that uh, it, it pushes the packing and uh, forms a nice snug fit around uh, this right here. All right, and by doing so, it helps prevent air from entering uh, entering the chamber and allows uh, exact metering of the fuel and air mixture in the uh, low speed circuit. 
And so sometimes if the packing is not present or it's loose or has just kind of uh, um, uh, you know broken apart, then uh, air can be uh, air can be in, uh, introduced into the circuit and cause uh, poor idling. And um, so anyway, that's a bit of a frustration. So anyway, <clears throat> we also um, so uh, and then right here, this is where the needle goes in. Okay. And this is the low speed circuit. Right up in here is the, an expansion plug, and that expansion plug covers a little cavity right up in here. Okay, covers that little cavity. And at the bottom of that little cavity is the three holes, which uh, allow, uh, you know, for fuel entering and stuff. And um, so if that's all clogged up, it can also cause uh, poor idling. And so, um, not all the time, uh, but if you have a really dirty carb or this the motor is new to you and it, the motor just looks like dirty, like you know I showed you the six horsepower is, uh, it's, it might be a good idea to remove the expansion plug and uh, make sure it's clean inside there. Um, if the you know if you've had a motor you have a current motor and you've had it serviced and um, a lot of times uh, you know uh, uh, most of the time most of the stuff and the gunk hang at the bottom of the car bowl so uh, by just you know uh, taking out the you know the needle and the packing uh, and the packing nut and you know kind of taking it apart but leaving the expansion plug in is okay and just you know either soaking in a little bit of carb dip or you know spraying some carb um, <clears throat> carb solution through there is fine and then <clears throat> and then also um, 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 uh, and just clean things up is, is, is just adequate and then a lot of times uh, you can even save um, you know all the uh, all the gaskets and everything if you're careful so you don't have to get a carb kit every time but if it you know if the, if the carb looks really really dirty and it's really nasty it, sometimes it's better just to, to get a carb kit and and be done with it and, and you know that everything is, uh, in there works and, and functions fine so anyway uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and remove that high sp uh, the high speed plug. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Okay, I've already done uh, a couple of these already, so I'm just going to put that off to the side. Now, uh, it, also there's a little gasket in there. It's important that you there's a little gasket that goes along with that. You can keep that as well if it's in good shape. Keep it. This is where we're going to use our little um, our little um, hex shank just uh, just gently place it in there and kind of turn it until you can feel it where it's in the slot and it's grabbing so uh, I use this right here and I'm gonna gently turn it now uh, I loosened this earlier and it was it had a little uh, it took a little bit to get it uh, to come out but it's coming you know I already loosened it up so we're good to go so I'm gonna pull this off here and I'm gonna gently turn it so I don't booger up the threads inside there and I'm gonna pull it out Now, because this is a high, uh, a fixed uh, high, uh, high speed orifice plug, um, if you go in there with a wire and you start, uh, you start, you know, moving around and, and scraping it up, this has a little fine, fine, fine hole in there, and if it's widened or damaged, it can affect the flow, and it can certainly cause a very rich mixture and cause poor, um, poor running. Okay, so that's why it's really important to get this little tool and uh, do it right, okay, and clean it well. And sometimes even just soaking it, if there's a lot of thick varnish or gum in there, um, sometimes just soaking is not uh, good enough. Uh, sometimes you may have to take that little thing out and, and, uh, and, uh, and clean it very carefully um, and, uh, <clears throat> and putting like the little... Uh, the little uh, carb tip nozzle spray in there and cleaning out really well and so and then you can also physically inspect it so you know that's not an issue alrighty so next thing we're going to do here is we're going to uh, remove the little screws the little five screws down at the bottom here okay now I've already loosened these up and these little five screws actually hold the carb bolt to the base alrighty and there's a gasket in between 